Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, we're doing a scouting report on Leo Carlson, one of the top prospects of this loaded 2023 NHL draft. As always, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you check out the community button on our homepage, there's a lot of fun stuff that we do on there. We're going to be doing a community mock draft in a few weeks, and that's a lot of fun. All the viewers get to pick who they think should go at each selection. So please join and check it out. That's going to come up in the middle of April. All right, Leo Carlson. He is a big kid, 6'3", 198 pounds, shoots left. Is normally a center, but can play the wing. Played wing at World Junior, so he has some good versatility there. So his NHL draft rankings, NHL Central Scouting has him at number one for European skaters. Bob McKenzie at three. Everyone else at three except Dauber. They have him at four. All right, check out his stats this season. Playing in the top Swedish league, he had 25 points in 44 games. That's very impressive. If you look at the points per game, 0.57 for his draft year uh, compared to Willie Eklund was 0.58, Alexander Holtz, 0.46, Nylander, Raymond, Casper, all above those prospects. So that's pretty impressive company right there. All right, and as always, we're going to go through some skating. Shooting, passing, puck control, compete level, hockey IQ, and what he needs to improve upon. So the first thing is the skating. You're going to notice for a big kid, he can motor. So check this out. Arrows on him here, and you're going to see he's going to blow by the Canadian defenders here. Look at that. Slows it down and then drops it back. Good puck entry there. Arrow on him here. You're going to see he's going to pick it up, get the puck here, and then he's gone. He's gone. Moves pretty good for a... Big kid. And you got to remember, he's only 18, right? So he's going to develop a little bit better his skating. There's a couple things that we're going to touch upon is with his skating. Doesn't have that explosiveness, that acceleration, and his top end speed is not the best. But he's going to get better, obviously. All right, this one here, look at this. Cuts across. And then you're going to see, so he's down on the ice there. He's going to get back up, and he's going to chase that down. So look at him go there. He's the last one in the frame here. So pretty good motor for a big guy. All right, his shot. Not one of his strong suits. He had 10 goals this year. I'd say five of them were from shots. That's a nice shot right there. And then he had five from, like, say, tap-ins, deflections, maybe a deke. But I think he could, you know, all these kids have great shots. He could use a shot more. But look at that. That's a nice shot. All right, arrows on him here. You're going to see they're going to get a takeaway here, and he's going to one-time it, and boom, it's in the net. Nice shot. Nice little half-clapper here. Watch this, and it's in. So, like I said, pretty good shot. Just doesn't use it too uh, too much. Probably can uh, get more shots on net. All right, arrows on him here. You're going to see this one. He, uh, no good for the one-timer, so he just tees it up, and it's in the net. Look at that. Hey, yo. Watch this. Boom, top of the circle, and he beats the goalie mano a mano. Nicely done. All right, passing. High hockey IQ. Great passer. Watch this. Picks it up in the middle here. Cuts across. And then he finds the guy right in the slot there. Nice pass. See that? Head up. You're going to see in a close-up here. He looks up the last second. He sees him. Knows what he's going to do. And he hits him with the perfect pass. Right here you're going to see. See? He looks. Sees him. And then he dishes it off. And it's in the net. All right. This one here. Nice puck retrieval on the fly. Gets it. Controls it, slows it down, and then nice little sauce, and they score. So, again, look at this. You're going to see this is a better angle here. So he picks up that puck, it's a little deflected, but he slows it down, gets the puck. Nice move there, and then nice little sauce for the finish. Nice pass. All right, arrows on him here. So this one here I want to show you. So he picks up the puck in the corner, dishes it off, and then he finds the open space. It's on a power play nevertheless, but watch this. Looks in the slot, and then perfect pass right there. Nice pass. We're going to slow it down here. Gets it, looks, dishes it off. It's in the net. So nice little sauce pass. Good passer. All right, puck protection. Hey, big kid. Hard to move out the puck. This is an example of that. Look at that. Defender's on him. Just pushes him off, and then they eventually score. But you'll see, and this is against men. you got to remember, he's only 18 years old. And look at that. Just absorbs a hit there. And then dishes it off and eventually goes in the net. All right, this one here is a, this is a beauty play. Watch this. Right off the faceoff, three on three overtime. Takes it to the net. Wow. <laughs> Got some soft hands for a big kid too. Look at this. 
whoop, wow, and then cuts to the net, almost score. Like, what? That's right off the face. That's a nice play right there. This one here, this is probably one of the nicest ones. Watch this. Gets it in the uh, neutral zone, and then, oh, my God, watch this in slow motion. You'll appreciate it better. Look at these hands. Wow, and then puts it over the shoulder. Amazing. All right, this one here, again, same thing. Look at this toe drag. Whoa. And then the backhand on net almost scores. Wow. And this is in the Swedish Elite League. Like, look at the hands against men. Yep. I just did that. Turned them inside out. Beautiful. Compete. Pretty good compete level. Uh, he's always moving around. He's hard on the puck. Sometimes he's a little soft on the puck. You know, could take the body. But this one here, watch this. Gets the puck, absorbs a hit, and then dishes it off. And then he goes to the net. Doesn't stop and watch. He goes to the net and he scores. Nice goal. So good work right there. So you'll see. Pinches in, gets the puck, absorbs a hit right here, passes it off, and then goes to the net and gets rewarded with the empty net goal. Look at that little tap in. Boop. So good compete level. Like I said, sometimes, you know, could be a little bit more physical, but for the most part, he's a good worker. He's always moving on the ice. So this one here, look at that stick lift right here, gets the puck back, soft hands right there, nice deke, and then passes it off in the slot, and they score. Like, come on, that's that's great work right there. This one here, you're going to see. There was on him, takes it to the net. Hard work, and then watch. He doesn't give up on the puck. So see, he's looking, sees it, stick lift, wins the battle, pushes him off, uses his body, and then they eventually score. And that's all because of him. So you'll see he follows the play, sees where the uh, defender is going there, and then he gets the stick lift, uses his body to push him off, and then passes it off, and they eventually score. That's some nice work right there. So pretty good work ethic. And then here, arrows on him, number 91, I wanted to show, because he goes behind the net right here. And this is where he uses his physicality. And this one takes the body right there. Watch. You're going to see him come back right here. Takes the body again. Pushes him. Then watch this. Gets in it with that one player there. He's going to push him on the ground. Number 20. You're going to see him right here. Pushes him down. And then he gets the puck retrieval. So nice work right there. That was a good one. All right. Hockey IQ. I always pick a game and see what he does well. So this one here you're going to see right off the hop on a power play. Gets the puck. Takes his time. Look at this. Looks. Options. Options. Sees him in the middle. Dishes off, they score. Perfect. Smart play. This one here, you're going to see, he sees that his D pinched, so he covers for him. Gets the puck back, watch. Takes his time, dishes it off, and then he's going to go for a curl right here. You're going to see him. Gets the puck right here, doesn't, takes his time, and then slows it down. See, there was no options there. They had the, uh, they had the neutral zone block pretty good, so he just dished it back. Perfect play. Smart. Hockey IQ. This one here, arrow was on him. He's going to see... Oh, look at that skating. I see that one there. Once he gets moving, he goes pretty good. But watch, he stays with the puck, follows it. Look at this. So good work ethic here. Keeps them in the zone. And it's all because, you know, he was positioning himself right there. All right, arrows on him here. You're going to see. He gets the puck, slows it down, and then gets the zone exit. So he could have rushed there, but he didn't. He took his time, and then he follows a play, and then he drops back as an option. Very smart. All right, what he needs to improve upon? A couple things, the, the skating, like I said, sometimes, like look at this one here. That guy just blew by him. So a little bit of acceleration, a little bit more explosiveness. Um, this one here, another one for skating. You're going to see he tries to get away, doesn't have that separation speed. He does draw a penalty, so give him that. All right, here we're going to see his shot. Not the greatest, a little weak on that. And then this one here is the last thing, the physicality. So here he could have you know, taken the body, but he kind of slowed down and... They lose the puck battle in the corner there, okay? But overall, what a great player. He's going to be a top five player. I got him ranked top five for sure. Um, some of his strengths, like I said, hockey IQ, his playmaking, slows the play down, puck control and stick handling on point. And then his compete level, he's moving around, could improve a little bit upon his physicality. He's a big kid, but that's no worries. And then the other thing is work on acceleration speed, things we can fix on address as he gets bigger, stronger, turns into a man. And then a shot, use it a little bit more, get a little more accurate, you know, know when to find those lanes. Uh, but otherwise, top five player for sure. Leo Carlson, can't wait to see where he goes in this draft. And as always, please subscribe and hit the like button. Much appreciated and cheers.